Hi, I'm George Nordhaus, and welcome to Monday Morning. And to <laughs> this Monday Morning is going to be really different than any of them because I'm going to interview myself. How about that? I'm going to interview myself. I don't think I've interviewed myself for a long time. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you really about how to measure and compare your marketing activities. And I think we all really need to do that. Look, let's go back just a bit. Everybody agrees with this. I think every one of your clients and your prospects knows that he or she can obtain their insurance coverage from someone else at a cheaper price. You know, that's pretty tough when you're selling stuff and you know that somebody else can sell it cheaper. Anybody else can sell it cheaper, maybe. So you got to know, make a, well, you got to do something about it, don't you? Why, why do they come to you for price? Why do people come for price and quotes? Well, because until now, that's what you have been selling. And really, it hasn't been much fun lately, has it? The more we sell on price, the more we will sell on, yeah, you got it, price. Okay? You know, the only way we can survive and prosper is to sell on value, not price. Now, it's easy for me to say. I know that. I know that. But, it, it, but it's true. It is really, really true. It's a commodity that we're selling. I love this Webster's Dictionary uh, definition of commodity. Tip, uh, whose wide availability leads to smaller profit margin, and this is the point, dis, dimini, dismi, I'm sorry, diminishes the importance of factors, like the brand name, like your name, other than brand. That's what a commodity is. Well, we all try to know that. Scott Addis, I work with him quite a lot, and, and he's really a, a good thinker. He says, I believe that agents, if they can just do three simple things, can expand, really, and grow. they can got to repackage, you got to reposition, and you got to develop a unique process. It focuses on intimacy, and I like that, intimacy in a customer experience. The issue here is commoditization. And he's talking about, you know, auto homeowners, small commercial, and all that, the personal line stuff. But he's exactly right. We have to have an intimacy. But here's what he said, and I think, it, I think this statement really grabbed me more than any. I strongly believe commoditization creates a huge opportunity for agents who are able to stand out in a crowded marketplace, and that's the story. Well, what can we do about it? Well, I'm not gonna, I don't have a magic answer today because I'm going to give you a little formula in a minute. But, you know, we all have marketing, uh, communications, and technology problems and opportunities for that matter. Uh, but there are a, lot, a lot of them disconnected. Most agencies are, are really disconnected in all three of these things. Uh, my job, you know, is <laughs> with agencies online or, you know, a lot of other people's jobs is to get those things integrated, to get them together. Get them simplified. Put everything together that we can use. The three basic things, marketing, communications, and technology. So what do we do? Well, let's start. Let's do this. How do we understand communications? What's it all about? Well, you know, I mean, this is a, this is a two-hour demo in itself, I guess. But, you know, we used to have in-person. Now we have virtual meetings, telephone calls, texts, letters, emails. Used to be letters. Used to be newsletters. Now it's electronic. Uh, we can communicate. We belong to social networks. You know all that. You have your own URL addresses. Websites can entertain and, and all that. We really need to understand the changing communication situation. We know that. Yellow pages, direct, yeah, net, all that stuff before. Now it's search engine optimization, informational, email, direct contact, and all the other things that we do, and we understand that. I think the most amazing one that I like to look at occasionally, just to say, am I doing that right? YouTube. Has over three billion daily views. Can you mention it? Three billion daily views. That's double the audience of the three largest primetime TV networks combined. Look at this, though. This is what grabs me. Every minute, 100 hours of video are added. Every minute, 100 hours. I, I can't. Can you understand that? I mean, it, it's just beyond. Uh, I, beyond my understanding, I love this one. Tufts University up in Boston now takes applications on YouTube. How do you like that? Oh, where are we going with this thing? Well, the irony is that while there have never been more ways to reach customers, it's harder now to connect with them because there are so many, many ways. And, of course, we understand that. That's communications. And in marketing, the two basic facts of life, and I've been using this for the last five years, we can't compete with the Geico's of the world. We know that. The Geico effect, the money, the money that all these people, I don't have to tell you that. You understand that. But what makes it even worse is that these changes I just talked about in marketing are really difficult. Why? Because you've got to run an insurance agency. You don't have time to do all this and understand all of this. Nah, well, we can go on and on with that stuff. I just want to show you something. I was looking through some of my stuff, and I, five years ago, I did uh, something on the Geico effect. And uh, this was, I went into Google, and I Googled auto insurance, and I got 56 million 
entries. Now this is five years ago, no kidding, but this was the first 10 pages after GEICO. Look at some of these things. I don't have to read, read them, I won't waste your time with all that, but you know who they are, and you're seeing them and seeing, but look at this, so 56 million, in the first 10 pages now, coming back to you again, first 10 pages, look at these. You see any independent agents in there? I don't. Don't think I do. I looked two or three times. Maybe they're in there somewhere. I don't think so. I haven't even heard of half of these people. My my guess is about half of them or more than half of them are gone by now. I hope so. <laughs> At any rate, then the Geico effect. Uh, you know, I mean, it just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. Things that we never even heard. Well, I didn't. I haven't heard of them. Uh, Internet auto guide. You ever heard that? I never heard that before. I may be still in there. I'm not going to go look. But all of these things are in there, and they just kept coming. And once again, this was five years ago. And the only reason I use that is just to kind of have a good time with it and let you really realize that, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. No independent agencies, though, that I can understand. Okay. Then technology. Of course, we have to understand technology. And I don't have a magic answer for that, a short one either. But uh, our agency management systems, we all have them, CRMs, uh, uh, customer relationship management programs. 90%, uh, I think, that number's still right, uh, uh, use vertical, which was AMS or applied. Uh, I, uh, it's amazing, but those guys are worth now, incidentally. They each sold for over a billion dollars last year, year before. Amazing, amazing what they've done. Uh, they say, and, and I, I think they're right, and we've, we've seen that agencies online, about 20% of the people, uh, I mean, agencies use about 20% of the, of the capacity of these things. Uh, and that's another subject altogether, and nothing you can solve right now. But just bear this one point in mind, and that is your agency management system has so many capabilities and has so many capabilities in marketing if they can be properly used, if they can be properly pointed in that direction. Uh, our vendors have not done a very good job, and I'm the first to say it, and I've been saying it for 10 years, uh, on marketing using that. But I think they will, and I'm going I'm to bug them and kick them, and so should you, okay? And that's understanding technology, you know, but uh, we've got to have tracking systems of all of our marketing and virtual conferencing. We do that in cloud hosting. These are all the things we can do right now. Search engine optimization, the blogs, the Twitters, the social network, and all that kind of stuff. You know what's out there, and we all have to understand it to a degree, but we don't have to understand all of it and how it works and everything. Just have to use it. Okay, and then, then we start taking action if we understand those things. What kind of action can we take? Well, uh, ask yourself these questions. Do you think the Internet in all forms is the way we communicate today? Of course it is. Are you happy with your website? Maybe some people are, some aren't. Most aren't. Are we constantly communicating with our clients? And I think that's vital. It's always been vital, and what are we going to do about it? So we've got to take some action on communications. Uh, we've got to take some action on marketing, and that is, uh, does our plan, does we have a marketing system? Do we understand our client base, really understand it? Do we have an active, uh, with an analysis of the growing prospect list? Uh, do we have ongoing marketing plans ourselves? Do we have the time? Those are all things that we just have to take into account, and it's very, very difficult. I'm the first to tell you and understand how difficult it is for you independent agents. And then finally, we take action technologically. We've got to do that. Do we have a web website, a robust? We talked about that. SEO, smart farms with our quoting, got to have that. I don't want to go with the smart forms, what they are right now. Can we integrate with our agency management system? We're going to have to do that a lot more. And I just said that before. We've got to get those guys thinking in terms of marketing and marketplace reality. This is what it is. This, this was done, I want to say, well, I don't know how many, how many years ago, but it's still accurate. Most of our clients are not, aren't aware of what we really offer. Uh, half of them, they'd say, well, I'd buy from you if I knew what you really offered. Uh, 15% uh, of clients will buy some form of life insurance in the next 12 months. Seven times 15 is 100, roughly, and so that's uh, uh, a little bit over. But in other words, uh, in the next seven years, somebody's going to buy it. Uh, I mean, all of your clients are going to buy some form of life insurance, and are you still selling it? And you know that story. And at this annualized rate, they are going to buy somebody from you in the next seven years. I just said that the average household owns seven policies. You know, health, life, with that, that. The average agency that we deal with still writes less than two policies per household. And we can't live with that anymore. Well, I don't want to preach on that one either. Preached on it for many, many years. It's time we did something. So what are our challenges? Well, our challenges are how to make the Internet the hub of communications. We talked about that. Bring together all those three things, technology, 
compete in this technology world, make it simple enough so that people can actually do it. And that is really, really tough. So here's what the challenge is. And this is all by way of background. I want to challenge you to print this out or to pass it along to the other people in your agency and rate your agency. Let's just see how you're doing on marketing. This is all on marketing. We want to get you on track so you, <laughs> you're today's agency, you're tomorrow's agency today. How's that? Okay. So what we want you to do is to take this and, and, and give yourself a, a 1 to 10. Do we have a current business plan? Our marketing plan is documented. Our market, if you're, if it is, totally put ten. If it's not, put one. If it's somewhere in between, do that. Our marketing plan is tracked by our agency management system. We have an in-depth understanding of our client base, number, average number. That's vitally important, as you know and I know. The uh, uh, marketing. Some more questions. We have an active and growing prospect list. We're able to sort our client data to do market. Uh, target marketing. I mean, that's vital, and of course, we need to do that. We have the manpower to create and monitor our marketing plans. Uh, we do annual reviews for each of our clients. Boy, oh boy, I know you do for commercial lines, but I'm finding way the vast majority of agents don't have an annual review for each of their personal lines clients. What about communications? Well, let's do some more rating. We believe the internet and all forms of uh, the media of today. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you that. We have a brochure, non-interactive website. Well, if it's not, put one. Uh, we have a way of tracking activity to and I'm sure that's SEO. You can do that and uh, should be doing it. The analytics that Google can give you. Uh, we get a steady flow of new business from our website. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, that doesn't happen uh, as much as it, we thought it was going to early on, does it? And visitors return again and again to our site. I doubt it, seriously. I know most don't, and I understand that. In technology, we have to track. Once again, same thing. Staff members use dual monitors. That's kind of old, but if it's still accurate, at least you can do. Um, social networking, we're actively involved, and we, uh, we use search engine optimization, of course, to drive our website. And we could go on and on and on. Well, what's your results? Now, if your agency uh, uh, score totally for all those pages is 75 or below, boy, you are in dire need of some help, and you better get it. If you're uh, between 76 and 125, you're in the mid-range of agencies. You've got a good start, but you're going to have to, you know, jack it up a bit. But if you're 126 to 200, you are on the way towards a prosperous future, and we hope you're there. I've used this many, many times in the last number of years, and I've seen some results that would blow your mind. But it will give you some place to start, and I hope you'll do that. You know, we've all run our businesses over these years with this basic philosophy that if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got, right? Well, wrong. We simply can't always do <laughs> and do what we always did. Not anymore. We used to get by with that. Agents for many, many years. Oh, we have relationships with our customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that mean exactly? Have you tracked them? Do you know where they are? How often do you touch them? Well, we don't want to go there now, but you got the idea. Anyhow, my conclusion is this. We can't look uh, the present through the rearview mirror. We could, can't go backwards in the future. Remember Yogi Berra? He said the future is not what it used to be. Well, you're right about that, Yogi. And I guess what I wanted to say, and I learned this from Tom Johnson, the Florida big eye, many years ago. And he said you won't be doing what you're doing wrong long, even if you wanted to. Well, let me end by, by doing this. You want to discuss your marketing plan anytime? Just call me. I, you know, I'm sitting up in the mountains of Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm looking out at 10,000 feet high uh, out my window here. I love to sit here and talk to agents when I can who want to talk about their marketing. Just give me a shout. Well, yeah, it's a, probably the most fun I'll have all day, but I need it. Please feel free to do that. Okay, here's the information. Uh, you can get me online, of course, that way. Okay, and before we leave today, uh, go back to the uh, – uh, you'll find a, a couple of messages there that are important on the uh, email. You'll find something from uh, uh, a new book on uh, um, risk management that you'll, you'll see there from the uh, uh, Agents of America organization. You'll see the five uh, questions from the Com Insurance Community Center, the quiz slice. You'll also see where you can find all of these in their archive. Let me suggest one thing to you. They're archived on the agencies online on rough notes. Let me suggest something to you. Go back and look at those. When you get new employees, send them there. Let them use these because these are 
uh, over these years, I'll be and already have interviewed uh, interviewing uh, the top, top, top people in the country. Well, I'm a little prejudiced, but that, those are the things that will make you work. And if you have any suggestions or anything, just, well, give me a shout. See you next Monday morning.